the potato so vilified but does it really make you fat if you eat too many potatoes will you end up with a gut like that guy hello guys all right i just want to do a video on potatoes uh at least my experience with potatoes because i keep hearing from people that potatoes make you fat and i met a woman a few days ago who wasn't eating anything at uh, a little Christmas dinner we were having, and she said, oh, I'm on a strict diet. I said, well, what, what are you not eating? And she wasn't eating bread nor potatoes. And I'm like, why? Well, you know, potatoes make you fat, don't they? Well, guess what? I'm having all these potatoes for breakfast right now. I'm going to cut these up, put a little bit of olive oil on them, oven roast them, and I'm going to let you know my thoughts on potatoes and whether or not they make you fat after I eat. I'll be back. All right, so I have my oven heated to 400 degrees. I've got my potatoes cut into kind of cube-like pieces in there. You can cut them into wedges if you like. I've got this big onion. I'm just going to cut off a portion. I'm going to use what I, maybe half of that. What I, what I like. So in other words, this doesn't have to be a specific recipe. You can add, you know, what you like in this and what you don't. So I've got, um, you know, this sort of piece of onion here. It's hard to tell you how much that really is. And I'm just going to slice it and drop it in my bowl. Okay, so I've got that in there. And for the purposes of sort of giving you a recipe, guys, I'm going to say that everything I'm t putting in is just about a, an eighth or a quarter. Okay, this is this is dried basil, by the way. That's probably like a quarter, quarter teaspoon, sorry, of dried basil. I'm also going to put some garlic on here. Maybe that's... Um, Sorry, about half a teaspoon maybe, guys. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. Maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm going to put this olive oil. Now, I, I haven't done a video on this or anything, but this is an ice-pressed olive oil from Greece, made by the Ra Rallis family. It's cold-pressed. It says like a 30 times colder than, uh, than cold-pressed. 30 times colder than cold-pressed. It is apparently great for health issues. It's got a lot of um, health benefits. And I typically don't cook it. I just will sprinkle it on some stuff. I haven't used too much. This bottle was like 20 bucks on sale at a veg fest. But I'm going to just drizzle some on. I feel like that's about a tablespoon, guys. Maybe a slightly more than a tablespoon. Okay, and I want oregano. This will not be complete without oregano. Now, of course, you might have other spices you want to put on there. Some thyme. The oregano, that's probably about... This could be a teaspoon. Not, yeah, probably a teaspoon. Or almost a teaspoon of oregano. We're just going to mix all that up. And this is where if you realize it's not enough oil, you'll add more. Oh, I didn't add salt. Okay, I want to add my... Herbamer. This is the zesty herbamare, so it gives a little bit of a spicy flavor to it. Okay, just sprinkling on. I think that's about half a teaspoon. And if you don't have enough, you can always add salt afterwards. But these should be nice and tasty on their own. Okay, so now you have this like this, guys. I already want to eat this, but I can't. And you're just going to put this in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. I'll be back. While your potatoes are roasting, if you want to make a tofu scramble, you can get that ready in the meantime. And I just want to clarify, guys, that I lowered the oven to 350 because I remember that, uh, first of all, you should never heat olive oil too high. And secondly, given that this is like a super cold pressed olive oil with um, healing properties to it, I didn't want to cook it too high. So I put it to 350. It means it will take a little longer probably for my potatoes to be ready. But that's okay. I'm, I've got my tofu scramble here with some curry, black salt, um, basil, oregano. Do I have a little oregano on here? No. Um, 
<laughs> garlic powder, sorry, onion. Oh, I'm going to add mushrooms to this. And I'm going to let that just sit for a little bit, and then I'll uh, saute that up just around the time that the potatoes are almost ready. Okay, this is what's in my tofu scramble. Curry, black salt, garlic powder, basil, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of chili pepper, um, some onion, mushrooms, and you see, I've got some green, sorry, orange peppers right here, and tomato. So I'm going to saute that up. I'll be back. All right, one thing that I forgot to add, guys, is something that I love, and this is just a veggie seasoning I got in bulk from a local grocery store, and it tastes delicious. So I'm going to sprinkle some of that on my potatoes and then get it into the oven. Okay, guys, so here is my finished product, oven roasted potatoes and tofu scramble, and I can't tell you how much I love this breakfast. It's delicious. Now sometimes what I'll do to make it quicker, because this was about 30 minutes, but sometimes what I'll do is I will boil the potatoes for about 10 minutes and then saute them in the pan with the same ingredients in there and still delicious as ever. Okay guys, that's my plate. I ate the entire thing. It's so tasty. Definitely filling, because I can eat that and not eat for hours. Um, and I've been eating this kind of a breakfast probably four to five times a week for the past year. I have lost a lot of weight. Just by virtue of this being a whole food plant-based diet, potatoes are a whole food. White potatoes, yellow potatoes, they're not the same as white bread. White bread takes the whole grain, strips the grain so that you have only the white portion of it and the whole wheat, you know, that the good fibrous stuff from the whole grain is gone, and you make your breads and flour and so forth from that. And that's why white flour, without the fiber in it, can help spike your insulin. When you eat your whole foods that come with the fiber, as well as the carbohydrates, there's a balance in your body and your insulin is not spiked because the fiber counteracts the glucose that comes from any kind of carbohydrate. Potatoes are not a bad food. Whole, they're a whole food. This is a whole food breakfast I just ate, and it has done me so well this past year. What did make me fat, I realized, I ate a lot of chicken. Once I cut the chicken out of my diet and cut the meat out of my diet, the weight just started to drop. People have to understand what is actually healthy and what isn't. And a whole foods diet, including just actual whole foods, potatoes as they come from the ground, that's a whole food. That's good for you. It's tasty, it gives your body the carbohydrates it needs, it's filling, and there's nothing wrong with it. And you cannot, like I saw someone on Twitter do, compare white potatoes to white flour, vastly different things. White flour is no longer a whole food. The whole wheat is a whole food. The whole potato is a whole food. Don't be afraid of your potatoes, people. Eat your potatoes. They're good for you. They're delicious, filling, and nutritious. And like I said, I've lost a lot of weight on them. So I'm all for potatoes and carb power. And now for the nutritional breakdown of potatoes. One medium potato contains 164 calories, 0.2 grams of fat, that's really low, 0 grams of cholesterol, 37 grams of carbohydrate, 4.7 grams of dietary fiber, and 4.3 grams of protein. Bet you didn't know that about the potato. The same serving also meets 2% of daily calcium needs, 51% vitamin C, 9% iron, 30% vitamin B6, 12% magnesium, and 25% of potassium needs. Potatoes also provide phosphorus, niacin, folate, choline, and zinc. Guys, I didn't even know that about potatoes. And unlike processed potato products, they have very little sodium in them. Obviously, if you deep fry them, add salt, you're going to add more sodium, but the potato on its own is a healthy little... A vegetable, vastly underrated in its nutrition, nutritional value. Potatoes also contain a compound known as alpha lipoic acid, which helps the body convert glucose into energy. And as you can just look here and read, guys, there's a lot that it helps with um, some of the possible health benefits bone health because of the iron, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, and, and zinc. Also, uh, collagen for your skin with the vitamin C, I know for sure. Um, blood pressure tends to be lowered because 
they're so low sodium in potatoes to start with. Heart health, the fiber, potassium, vitamin C, and B6 content, as well as lack of cholesterol, all support heart health. The folate in cancer, so, sorry, the folate in potatoes is also helpful in cancer prevention. Digestion and regularity are aided because potatoes have a lot of fiber. And it helps your weight stay down because the fiber helps you stay fuller and feel satisfied. And of course, it has a very low fat content to it. So you can see here, the skin collagen is the skin support system, relies on vitamin C. Potatoes are a great sort of source of vitamin B6 for your metabolism. There is a lot of great things provided by eating potatoes. So don't be afraid of potatoes, guys. Hi guys, so here I am. This is me after what? A year and a half almost on a vegan diet? I am slimmer than I have been in years. In fact, someone said to me maybe like four or five months ago, oh my God, you're so skinny. And I'm like, who, what, me? And I'm telling you, I eat potatoes. You saw the size of the plate I eat four to five times a week. Sometimes not four times, you know, it depends. I like to have oatmeal in the morning as well with bananas, but I love my potatoes and tofu scramble. That is my go-to breakfast. If I've got the time, I eat it constantly. So it's not like I have it once a month. I have it at least, at least three times a week, usually four, sometimes five. And guys, I have like seriously dropped a lot of weight. Um, I have dropped, oh, I hated scales before. I really, truly hated scales but I'll say at least 25 pounds. Yeah, at least, I went on the scale recently, which I'm like, I never want to do go on, go on the scales, but I went on the scale sort of recently, and guess what? I was at the number that's within my healthy body weight. I was, I was blown away. I was like super, super excited. So I did that eating potatoes and whole foods. You know what made me fat, guys? Chicken. And I just saw a study saying that chicken makes you fat. Chicken, dairy, oh my God, fattening. I didn't eat a lot of that stuff. I had toast in the morning, I had coffee, I'd have, you know, chicken, I'd have a little bit of veggies, I'd have sometimes beef, I'd have never pork, never ate pork, sometimes fish, but chicken's what I like the most. And I cut all that out and I still eat. I, I never liked portion control, but I did not overeat. But as I got older, you know, the metabolism just doesn't work well with, with meat. I started eating a whole food plant-based diet. Yeah, that includes cupcakes and some brownies and some of that good stuff you see me making on my YouTube channel, okay? It's not like I'm only having lettuce and tofu, guys. I indulge and I have a big honking plate of potatoes almost every day of the week and I've lost weight. Okay, so I want to just like dispel the myth that potatoes make you fat. Maybe white carbs, white bread, etc. That's not good for you because you stripped out the whole grain down to make it white flour. But potatoes are not a stripped down food. Potatoes are carbs and our bodies need carbs. Our brains need carbs. We need carbs for energy. We need carbs. People who are carbophobic are screwing their bodies up. We run on carbs more than protein, guys. I mean, we need protein, we need all of these nutrients, but we need to have them all. We don't need to cut anything out. So don't cut out carbs, don't be afraid of carbs, eat your whole foods, and you're gonna lose weight, because look at me. I mean, honest to God, I'm blown away. If I'd known it would've been this simple years ago, I had to ditch all that stuff for health way back then. But I'm also in, for, in it for the animals now, knowing the truth about factory farming, disease, losing my dad to cancer, having a friend whose husband now has brain cancer. And we don't know what causes cancer all the time. But my dad ate a lot of red meat. He had colon cancer. All I know is that I've seen a lot of miraculous stories of people who went on a whole food plant-based diet and cured disease, like lupus. Like seriously, I'm blown away. It's healthier for you makes you look better. If you feel good, why not? It hurts no one. So anyway, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching.